everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Profwin and today I'm going to give you the idea on how are you going to check the blood pressure correctly. So, bakit ba? Uh, why is it really important to measure the blood pressure of the individual? Lalo na yung mga uh, medyo may edad na. Of course, we need to monitor the blood pressure of the patient para alam natin kung medyo nasa hypertensive na tayo so nag-iingat tayo so diba and so that we can give the medical measures that is supposed to be for the patients pag monitor natin ang ating blood pressure so yan and to start with so we have the stethoscope so, this is the stethoscope. So, itong stethoscope na to, okay, na, okay, this is the diaphragm, and this is the bell. This is the air piece. So, how to me measure, how to use this stethoscope? Simply, okay, uh, kailangan, it's this one is facing you para mas malakas ang maririnig nyo. Because it is it's like this, medyo mahina ang mapupuha nyo yung BP. So, dapat, the correct way is like this. And when you do this, kailangan uh, mostly, lalo sa mga nursing, nursing students, sa mga medical students. So, this is the one that they are using. So, Ito pwede rin to, pero madalas ito ginagamit ng mga doktor kasi siya, sila may expertise na sila, di ba? So, ginagamit ng mga doktor, lalo na when it comes na, they will examine the infant or the baby. So, yan, ginagamit nila. Okay, so pwede rin itong maikot. Ayan. So, yan. Pag ikot ko, okay, naririnig ko. So, pag binaikot ko to, mas malakas ang inig. Mas malakas ang tunog nito. So, yun. It's regarding the stethoscope. So, we have also the, syempre, stigma manometer. So, yan. If you want to check the blood pressure of the patient manually, so, this is the one that we're going to use, the Spigmo manometer. So, in the hospitals, in the tertiary hospitals, so most of them, they are taking the PP that they, because they have the Dynamax. So, they are taking simul, one, uh, simultaneously the BP, the temperature, the pulse, and the respiration. So, dahil, uh, nandito, dahil ito, itong, ano, at itong blood pressure na to, is manual. So, Pwede yung mga nasa bahay, yung mga kananayan, yung mga uh, medical courses, yung mga uh, nursing caregiver. So, pwede, pwede to, pwede ito ang um, gamitin sa bahay. So, this is accessible to everyone. So, to start with, let us going to uh, find one patient to monitor uh, for us to check the blood pressure. Of so, ayun. Andito na tayo. Uh, let us continue to measure the blood pressure of the patient. Dapat uh, accurate natin ang measure ang blood pressure ng pasyente. So, una sa lahat, di ba, I introduce to you the, the stethoscope. So, and then the spigmo manometer. So, yan. So, remind ko ulit guys, if you're the one that uh, will take the blood pressure, so dapat ang airpiece ng stethoscope ay paganon. So, halimbawa, ito, iganon ko. Para at least, masyado nyo marinig ang thumping sounds, ang pagkuhan nyo ng BP. So, sabi ko kaya kanina, pwede nyo ikutin to, pero mas maganda, ito ang gamitin natin. Okay? So, itong diaphragm na to, mas malakas. Now, Kabit na natin ang ating spigma manometer sa pasyente. Dapat uh, bare arm siya so walang manggas ang ikakabitan natin. And then be sure na at least 
mataas ng at least one and a half inches mula dito. Okay, sa pagkuha ng BP, kailangan i take it into consideration na hindi, it's not too loose and it's not too tight. So, kailangan tamang-tama lang. So, ayan nga, uh, kailangan may close to bago ka magpam sa pasyente. And then, ang, ang diaphragm, be sure na naka-on siya. So, dito natin, kanina, uh, sabi ko nga, nasa brachial artery, ito yon So, ayan. So, kakapain natin uh, ang pulse. So, ayan, na, nakapa na. And then, uh, when we start to 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 pump this one, so, ito yung kailangan mag-close this one. And then, ayan. Usually, ang pasyente, so, kailangan ilagay natin sa 180. Now, yung first thumping sound na maririnig mo, uh, yun yung systolic, and the last thumping sound na maririnig mo, ito yung diastolic. Yung malakas na una, at saka malakas na pangalawa, yun ang babasahin mo. And that will be the systolic and the diastolic of the patient. So, narinig ko kay mommy, that is ano, 120 over 80. So, the blood pressure is so normal. So, if in case, okay, tanggalin na natin. Dahan-dahan tanggal para hindi masaktan ang pasyente. So, if it if in case na ang BP niya is uh, 139 over 8 over 90 so that will be prehypertension so kailangan we have to advise the patient o oh, mommy you have to control wala dapat na ano you have uh, to take up the low cholesterol low salt diet kailangan uh, limit sa mga karne karne kailangan uh, take fruits and vegetables uh, more fluids intake especially rich in vitamin C. So, ayan. At kailangan advice natin ng pasyente na regular check-up ang kanyang BP para at least ma-monitor natin ng maayos. Kasi pag tumaas ang BP niya, pag hindi siya nag-monitor, at may tendency na tataas, hindi niya malalaman, at hindi mo alam na high blood na pala ang pasyente at mag-lead mag sa stroke. So, the more it will be danger. So, yun lang po at before you end this one, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for my channel and press the bell so that you will be notified for the next vlog. That's all and God bless you all guys. Thank you.